Okay, but we start here at 530 with the Cleveland woman who hasn't seen the electric wheelchair she depends on for weeks. That breaks your heart. It was stolen, she says, right from her yard, and she fears someone may have scrapped it. News 5 anchor Damon Maloney caught up with her. She shared surveillance footage that may help get it back. My roommate came out and he said it was gone. Since then, I've been like a prisoner in my own home. Linda Wiseman has depended on a wheelchair for more than a decade. It's my freedom from the house. It's my trip to the store. It's my everything I rely on. She says the morning of September 30th, when it was still dark out, the electric wheelchair worth about 10 grand was disconnected from an extension cord and snatched from her front yard on West 46th Street. It must be nice just to run someone's life. A security camera next door caught the crime. It shows a young man walking from West 46th and Bush up this way. Then it shows him standing out front looking. And then it shows him walking up, taking the tarp off and riding off in it. Why is your electric wheelchair in the front yard? Because I can't afford a ramp. Linda told me she's on disability and a ramp has never been in the budget, something that can cost several thousand or more depending on size, style, materials and labor. Through this nightmare, Linda says family and friends have stepped in to help. They've actually tried to piece together an old wheelchair, but it hasn't quite worked. But thankfully, she was linked to a business in Euclid, and they supplied her with this loaner wheelchair. But of course, she wants hers back. A detective from the Cleveland Police Department is now on the case. And they're still working on it. Linda's angry someone would stoop this low. Having lived in this home for about 14 years, she told me she's parked wheelchairs out front with few problems. Kind of hard I have. If someone needed it, I would share it with them. There's no reason for someone to steal it like that. Today I reached out to several groups, including the City of Cleveland's Department of Community Development and Department of Aging. The latter told me securing money to help individuals with wheelchair ramp installation is some of the most difficult to do. But the Department of Aging said it would be in contact with Linda in hopes of helping connect her to resources. Linda said should a ramp be in her future, she would like it to be portable. Because I don't want to stay here. I want to move. I want to get out of this neighborhood. And I know they're saying a lot because crime is everywhere, but I have absolutely had it. Damon Maloney, News 5.